Tell me one thing in your life that is great that came as a result of being comfortable. Because everywhere I look and everywhere I see in today's society, everybody's doing everything they can to be more comfortable. They're looking for the more convenience. They're looking for the quicker. They're looking for the faster. And see, there's opportunity in that for those of you that want to get better. Because I'm going to tell you right now, all the reasons that these successful people that you look up to, that you aspire to be like, are the way they are, have all come from a place of being uncomfortable. Understand that when you're trying to avoid the pain, when you're trying to avoid the struggle, when you're trying to avoid the hard things, you are actively choosing to be average. You are actively choosing to be mediocre. And you are actively choosing to move further away from what you want in life. Because that hardship and that pain and that struggle, they give you the skills that will forge you into a mother champion. We do not retreat. We do not give up. We do not surrender. And the reason why most of you are not successful is because every single time stuff not going your way, you give up, you quit, you let go. And people feel weakness. They feel it. You can feel when somebody's not committed, when they're not all in, when they're not dedicated. And there's another level you get to when you go all in. Look at your belief system every single day and stick with it. Don't rush the process. Trust the process. Don't rush the process. Trust the process. Process. Don't rush the process. Trust the process. People who do stuff consistently and on time, they surpass people who talented and gifted. You guys have got to believe in yourself. Headstrong, mentally tough. That's the only way through the bullshit here in life. Winners, the difference between them and the spectators is the winners have a belief that overrides the crowd's disbelief every single time. Their belief is so strong, even though they hit failure, they get knocked on the ass. They're finally a test of fortune to stand back up again, face that same challenge, learning from the previous mistakes, and make it happen. Winners fail a million times. What makes them a winner is that they believe it, they're headstrong. Nothing's gonna stop them. There is no excuse for not being the hardest worker. Yeah, if someone might be bigger, stronger, faster, quicker, younger, whatever else, but there is no excuse to not be the hardest f***ing worker there. No longer are we going to accept rhymes and society's rhyme the reason that we are average. Average is a weak mentality. We must believe it so much so that we're arrogant about it. We must be stop for excellence. The easy route never pays well. The only route in life that pays well is the hard route. When you're working out and you want to die, feel the death happening in you. Feel the pain happening in your legs as you rep out one more squat. Because it'll be all the more pleasurable when you reach the inevitable other end of the spectrum where you're laying in your hammock, sipping on a protein shake. Boy, I really went hard. I really went hard on that set. I really went hard in school. I really went hard in my career. I really went hard in life. Go hard and die hard. My glory doesn't happen in front of a crowd it doesn't happen in a stadium or on a stage there are no medals handed out it happens in the darkness of the early morning in solitude where I try and I try and I try again with everything I have to be the best that I can possibly be better than I was yesterday better than people thought I could be, better than I thought I could be, then claim one victory that no one can ever take away from me, ever. A victory that is earned every single day. A victory of determination and will and discipline. A victory achieved because I will not stop. It's the character who you are. It's not the title that makes you. It's not the success that makes you. The character defines the success, defines the fame, and it starts right there. Championships aren't won in the theater of the arena. They're won in the thousands of hours in the training room, in the labs, in the 5 a.m. runs, and it's raining, whenever else is sleeping. That's when it's won. 
how you hold yourself from the small things of life. Build the character winning blocks of the things that we'll remember for. Do the job right or don't do it at all. That's the same person who has his hand raised on the podium one day. Same mother It's how you look at something. If your name's attached to it, then you do it right. The best of your ability every single time. Some of y'all are so caught up on the game that you don't get it. It is in practicing. It is in eating right. It is in making good decisions that you look a certain way. It is how you practice. It is what you do that makes you look like you look. It is the process of the grind that shapes you and forms you. It's not the game. And that's why most of y'all get beat in the game or make mistakes in the game because you think grinding is what happens when the sun comes out. You think grinding is what happens when the lights come on. You think grinding is what happens when people get in the stage. That's not grind. The real grind is in the dark when nobody sees you, when nobody knows what you're doing. When you studying without coach, when you putting in those extra reps, when you watching those videos and you getting inspired, when you change your music, it's the process that makes you sweet. And the problem with some of y'all is you want somebody else to support your dream. It's yours. If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. If you want it to happen, rise and grind. Because this is my time. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Ain't no such thing as tomorrow. We only got today. It begins right now with no one looking, man. And how you hold yourself, how you see yourself. What do you do when no one's watching? If you do it then, I guarantee you, you'll be doing it when everyone's watching. There is nothing in your life that's worthwhile, that's quick and easy. Everything worthwhile is uphill. Does it come to you? You have to fight for it every day. You have to climb for it every day. Which sets up this problem for all of us. You're never going to feel like it. It's your job to make yourself do the crap you don't want to do so you can be everything that you're supposed to be. And you're so damn busy waiting to feel like it. And you're never going to. So I just need you to think about three people in your family that you love, three people. So what I need you to do for me is I need you to think about those people every day when you're doing what you're doing. Do you have some days where you just want to hit the snooze button? Raise your hand for me. You want to hit the snooze button. So watch this. This is what has to happen. That person that you think about has to be louder than the snooze button. So when you think about granny, you got to think about, do I hit the snooze button or do I get up and make it happen for granny? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Who are you doing this for? So the days you don't feel like getting up, just think about them. When you think about your siblings, when you think about mom and dad and grandma, when you think about your uncle and aunts, when you think about those people who've been there for you, just raise your hand if you say, E.T., sleep is better than that. When that alarm clock goes off at four or five in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do now. My new norm is, you get up every morning at four o'clock and you suffer. That became my new life. Most people want to get out of it. I said, no, motherfucker, this is your new life. This is who you are. It's about executing regardless of your emotions. These test days, they test your fortitude. They test your endurance, your discipline, your grit, your dedication, your determination, your mental toughness at the very moment when everything in you wants to do absolutely nothing. You got to get the job done. Stop having dialogue with your emotions. Stop negotiating with your feelings and start to act. Your mind is a weapon and you got to begin to use it and pick that weapon up and control it. I want to know what the f I'm made of. I want to know what I can overcome. And I know that the harder the task, the harder the obstacle to overcome, the more strength I'm going to gain from it. It's an opportunity to prove that you're a winner. It's an opportunity to prove you are what you say you are in your head when you look in the mirror. When you look in the mirror and you say, there goes a bad motherfucker, you actually believe it. That's the importance of passing these tests. Successful people love the experience of not feeling like doing sh but then going and kicking ass anyway. They understand that those are the real victories in life. They understand that it's easy to do sh when you feel like doing sh but they also understand that the real magic, the real glory is earned when your heart is not into something but your mind tells you, f you, I'm gonna do this sh anyway and does it. 
That's where people separate themselves from the pack. That's where people earn the right to success. They earn the money. They earn the life. They earn the relationship. They earn the body in those little moments where they don't want to do what they need to do, but move forward regardless of how they feel. That's what champions know, champions understand, and champions fucking thrive on. And you don't get here by quitting when you tire. You get here by quitting when you finish, when you're done. You don't stop when you're tired. You stop when you're done. You stop when you complete it, when you execute it. Execution is worship.